Hello everyone, this is Parag from Oilfield Basics. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank Mr. Derek Craig for uh, giving me this wonderful opportunity to take an internship at his company. I'm currently the Drilling and Completions Engineering Intern at Oilfield Basics. I belong to India and uh, I currently study in uh, Pandit Deen Dayal Petroleum uh, University, currently pursuing the Petroleum Engineering, Bachelor of Technology in Petroleum Engineering and I'm currently in the final year of my uh, academics. So I would like to share some of my thoughts on uh, Indian oil and gas scenario. We'll talk about uh, some of the points uh, that uh, reflects India's oil and gas journey. Uh, so the journey basically started uh, back in 19th century when the oil was stuck in the eastern part of India that is in Digboy. The first oil well of Asia was uh, dug and the oil was found there and right from there the journey has gone up and up. There are a lot of exploration uh, activities going on in the country and uh, we majorly currently have 26 sedimentary basins across uh, the country uh, which are categorized into four parts on the basis of their uh, production uh, history or the way of production. So category 1 basins are quite matured and uh, we can name some of the basins or the assets like Bombay Offshore, uh, we have Krishna Godavari Basin, we have Kembe Basin, we have Assam Arakan Basin which are producing on a very high rate. So India has gone, uh, India has got a very good oil and gas uh, industry market as well. Uh, so talking about some of the companies uh, that are uh, currently working in India uh, in oil and gas sector, the first and the major Maharatna company that is Oil and Natural Gas Corporation is considered to be the national oil uh, company of India, uh, which is almost exploring and producing in almost all the parts of India and has major contribution in Indian economy. It is also uh, exploring its activities in the foreign countries, various foreign countries in the form of ONGC Vides Limited. There are other companies uh, we can name like Reliance, SR, Kane India. So they are pretty big, um, big players in this uh, arena. Some of the multinational companies uh, providing the services and working as service providers like Halliburton, Slumberger, Weatherford and uh, also the major giants like British Petroleum uh, also coming into play in the for the future. So uh, going on to the uh, talking about this uh, COVID-19 impact, yes we know that oil and gas industry is very versatile, it has its own rules, it changes day by day. So talking about the impact of COVID-19, uh, what I think according to me, Indian oil and gas uh, sector has not been that much affected due to it. As you can see the oil and gas activities, the production, uh, then uh, the exploration part in various uh, areas or the live wells were still going on and the energy soldiers of India were uh, still um, there on their duties to fuel the country. So and also after the lockdown activities, during the lockdown activities also the um, people were present and doing the job very quiet uh, in a nice way and the yeah, consumption part has been affected but still India is producing over 10 lakh barrels of oil in a day and the future government policies are coming up which are also adhering and supporting the current situation of oil and gas uh, as I mentioned earlier that uh, major fields of India are in their mature stage and they are on a, going on a decline now. So it is pretty, but pretty much uh, good to think about the various technologies which can explore more oil and gas from it. So talking about that there are uh, techniques like EOR, we have uh, chemical flooding, chemical EOR and uh, various other microbial uh, enhanced oil recovery techniques. So the researchers and the youth are coming up in order to work on these topics and uh, want to explore more oil from uh, the basins of India. 
it has been said that uh, the uh, current uh, discoveries prove that India can become self-reliant in oil and gas for uh, upcoming 50 to 60 years. India has that much of oil and gas being uh, there into the earth, into the basins of India. So yeah, steps are taken to explore them. And talking about opportunities in oil and gas, the, we have various universities across India. So petroleum engineers, the budding petroleum engineers are very much keen, enthusiastic and they are waiting for their opportunities and as soon as it get and, and as soon as they get it, they are a pretty bit much very much contributive towards the uh, energy paradigm of India. So that's, that was from my side and uh, I am also very much proud to be a uh, part of this uh, wonderful uh, sector that is oil and gas which fuels the world every day. So hoping for the best and uh, hoping that this COVID-19 ends early and the activities all around the globe continues very nicely. Thank you. Thank you so much.